Today we're taking a look at the software for the Red Dragon Fizz or the K617 RGB keyboard. Now this is a mechanical keyboard with magnetic keys and what does that mean is these switches can do multiple things at a time. Now you guys see I have the software downloaded and installed here. Uh, we are showing you guys the RGB lighting pattern but over here you guys got the sets of pieces that you can change out to do that. Now in the lighting mode you can do a static color if you want and that will change your keyboard to a solid color just like that picture. Or you can do a neon color, a breathing effect, a wave effect, twinkle, or even radar. You can also do auto ripple. You can do uh, styrations, auroras, ripples, guys. You can do reactive cross points uh, with that, of course. Fireworks, where if you press the key, it's going to light up the fireworks. Uh, speed response, so depending on how fast you type, it will go. Or even no music rhythm, where it's playing a song and customized. Or you can even do a customized pattern. Now that's the cool part about the coloration with the keyboard and all of that right there. But we have what's called key customization, where we can make these keys do multiple things. First and foremost, you can set up uh, regular defaults. Uh, you can also do remap keys, where if I go in here and I can click, let's say I want to change the W to something else, I can remap that key to another default or whatever we really want with that. If I don't like it, I just plus reset and I can go back into that. We can also do what's called senior keys uh, or key combinations. Key combinations is kind of cool because uh, we can do a key combo where we are setting up a key combo with this and we can do the ma uh, multi-set with the key combo. And I kind of like the key combos and stuff uh, with that, but we're just going to go with default for now. Now we can do trigger settings as well. We can calibrate our triggers to our finger press uh, because it can go all the way down to two millimeters, but you can set it in between all of that. Now, senior key mapping is uh, empty, of course, and so we can just click key. Uh, we can do K DKS or MT or TGL, uh, 10 style of guys with the one. Now, that I'll show you guys what it needs. One to four functions on the one, or you can do the multi uh, two functions, or, of course, uh, the triggering is off with the TG key. Now to create that, you're going to go over here and you're going to look at the 1.5 millimeter. Uh, we're going to click that red and then we're going to pick a Q as that first trigger point. We'll then click the second box and click the second trigger point and we can make that an R for this. And of course same with the third, we'll click that over here and we will make that a 5. And then we'll click the last one and click the bottom part where it is now a V. Now that is saved right there. And once we actually do that, we can close this out and we can go back over to key customization. Now this is where it's going to get kind of cool because we're going to do key customization. We're going to click senior keys. We're then going to click shift as that key. And we're now going to click, of course, the senior key and grab that first D key S1, which makes it now an active piece. So if I pull up, let's say, notepad, and I press the shift button, you guys will see that it'll start typing out uh, with, of course, the shifts as we go, but we do need to first download it. Once we download it, we can now pull this back up, and you guys will see right here that if I press in and barely tap, it's now typing these letters. You do have to be very careful of how much you're pressing on these to make it react with those lettering, which is actually absolutely amazing. Now, when you do the senior keys, though, it doesn't have to just be that style. We can create another one, and we can actually do, let's say, DKS1. We're going to click the first part. We're going to do this, and we're going to say number pad with that number right there. We're going to trigger this, of course, over here. We're going to say, let's say, F3 uh, with that. Or we can even, if we wanted to, we can delete that back up. We can create a new one. We can do, let's say, we want to do... Uh, the first part right here, just like this, with the delete button, so we can do delete. And the second trigger, of course, would be delete all, or you know, you shift delete, or whatever you really want it. You make the customizations however you need fit. Now you can also do key combinations. Let's say we want to make the tab a key combination, uh, and then we'll say the key combo is um, W A. And D, so that would be up, down, up, down, right? For those key combinations. Uh, and that's kind of cool. So we're going to do W and A and D for those key combos on hand. So you can do that with the virtual keyboard, or you can do it with this one and then save it and download it as you need. 
macros. Of course, you guys can do assigned macros with this. You can even make it a mouse pointer. You can do text where you can do auto text like uh, follow, you know, let's say um, friend uh, always or, you know, just say friends. Or I can even type it out to say dragon blogger just like that and click that as the OK. Operation is successful and that's where this is. So when I pull up that and I download this, we can now pull this up and if I hit tab, it's gonna write out Dragon Blogger, just like that. The software has so much set up in here. You can disable keys, you can do multimedia, you can do shortcuts, we can launch an app or even keyboard lighting if I wanna change the keyboard lighting with this or even key configurations. And if you don't like it again, just reset it and you're done. Guys, the K617 RGB mechanical keyboard and software is beautifully well done. This Fizz keyboard is awesome. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys have a great one.